Okay, that controls the spark. But the map sensor controls the firing of the injectors. Now let's go over to the bike. This is a 2015 uh, switchback. Okay, it's a Dyna frame. And 103, it's, uh, for, from what I can tell, it probably just has a light tune in it. It's got aftermarket pipe. Uh, it's got a stock air filter, so um, they probably just threw a quick tune on it with the pipe. So, both plugs are in. Coils hooked up. Fuses are good. Everything's hooked up on the throttle body. The IAC, the map sensor, the injectors are plugged in. And this is just, uh, this, this is not for this motorcycle, so it really doesn't go anywhere. This just goes into the back of the air cleaner. It doesn't really go to any uh, sensor or actuator or anything like that. So, let's start it up. Now, let's remove the spark plugs. Or, yeah, that's, let's just do it in that order. I know the camera's all bouncy, but just bear with me. I'm going to have to set this down. <clears throat> okay, this is the front cylinder. Got the noise light. No spark plugs. Come over here, thread the spark plugs in, and I'm trying to keep this camera steady. Yeah, it's not going to start, but what we're looking for is we're looking for the Noid light to uh, go off. Okay. See? It uses the map to trigger the injector firing. Let's just remove one plug and you'll see it not fire the front cylinder. overlap might be interfering with that rear bank because this is a, um, a single pin 45 degree so it's an odd fire so the map might be not picking up the signal because the other cylinder is blading off into the intake so let's do it again so there you go the odd firing of this motor what happens is it dentons the signal for the um, for the rear uh, cylinder. Just to kind of prove that point. Oop, almost dropped that. Don't want to drop that. Just to prove it to you. So there you go. Another diagnostic tool you can use 
to your advantage when diagnosing a Harley-Davidson. Till next time, this is First Responder Garage, and go blow gear in someone's ear. <laughs>